everybody the new Gary Respond. I really wish I would have joined the choir. Harumi Toda says, I'm Japanese, I hardly understand, but I like atmosphere. Oh, you're like really Japanese. You didn't even put in, I like the atmosphere, nothing. So respect to you, shout out Japan. Japan, skate line, this is awesome. It's a beautiful world. Daniel underscore says, someone get your man's Nick Marlini, Nick Marlino. Nobody needs to go get Nick Marlino, he's fine. Okay, he's not, but let him do him, cause this could get funnier. And we gotta see where this could go. This could get insanely hilarious. I really pray he's okay. Cause I, he's just so good on the skateboard. I think he's just messing around. He's laughing, he's smiling in the videos. If he's chilling, he's chilling. I think <laughs> that shit's funny though, man. Mark J. Walker 33 says, I have, <laughs> I full screen two things. <laughs> Asa, Akira, and Skate Line. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, dog. I ain't even mad at you, dog. Just never full screen us at the same time. That'll be weird. Leave Asa at your 7.30 by yourself. Come watch us at like one on Tuesdays. All right then, huh? Andy Johnson says, Tommy is probably one of the only fathers that can braid his daughter's hair, his braid his daughter's pigtails, cause he does his own. <laughs> probably, I think Tommy puts in a beast braid on any kid he got. He's just having, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody braid that man. So can you see Tommy Sandoval going to the salon getting his hair? No, he does the braids himself, damn it. Nareg Gazika Hanian says, never thought I'd see a Xenon girl of the 21st century reference on Skate Line. <laughs> Making me feel old, Gary. All right, I'm glad somebody caught that, bro, all right? So the Zoom 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 is from this Disney Channel movie called Xenon Girl of the 21st Century. It's like some old Disney Channel shit when I was a jit, bro, like eight or nine, bro, and I thought that shit was funny because uh, Raven Simone, back in the day when I was young, Raven Simone was a baddie, dog. She was sexy, sexy, dog. So, I used to watch those, and she was in it. <laughs> the dude had that song, so somebody knew that, and I don't think you're from the States at all. Your name's Nareg Gazikian. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know how to say. Gazian Hanian. Gazi, Gazik Hanian. I don't know where that's at, but you know, so. We is old in this bitch, bro. We hella old, if you really remember that. So that's, that's tight. Milk Wine says, Gary, I just dropped in last night for the first time after being scared to do it for 20 years. Shout out to the mid-20 skaters out there busting ass to good grit, to get good, busting ass to get good. 20 years of being scared to drop in? Bro, it takes like five minutes and a homie to just do it. <laughs> if you like, if you really that scared, if you let your homie guide you down. But no, I'm, either way, man, some things aren't easy to do. Like some people still haven't learned their first kickflip so i commend you take it 20 years bravery facing that challenge actually knocking that out i'm just teasing what i'm saying you could have did it already because i remember when i first did it like it was hard for me to do it but the homie offered me three boards and three dollars so i did it like, he gave me three old decks of his and you know the rest is history and that's that's what made me love skateboarding because the first time i tried it i like i got pretty pretty banged up <laughs> so when i went back and got that and that money he was super proud of me so i was like Tabiso Joseph Ronzo says, one style is on some other stuff. Yeah, that kid is fucking good. You knew it though, but people wanted to hate because for some reason, when skateboarders say we're the most accepting people of all time, we're really judgmental <laughs> without like a lot of good reasoning sometimes. Like there was no reason, like, so for, let's just be real here. I be judgmental on niggas, it's funny. But I have reasons why I'm choosing to be judgmental and like I can back it up with some. Some people just are just reaching for hate because somebody's either really good or wearing a certain shirt or expensive shoes. Like that, why? Why are you mad that that nigga got nice shoes on? It's not his fault he's willing to pay $300 for some shoes or a $200 shirt and be good as fuck. Like Versace Plug, cause I'm not gonna butcher his name cause I'm trying to throw respect on him right now, is hella good. And everybody wish they could hate because of his style that he had. They really wanted it to not work for him, and it ended up being a nollie flip in the middle of the, look at that, you see that line? Did you see it? That's Steve's right there, okay? So we gotta re, we gotta remember, we gotta have some little facts before we start saying and calling people out, man. He was good, okay? Real style, real good. Isaiah Driscoll says, please hit a back tail on that cement ledge. I can't skate yet still hurt but i will be back very very soon and the skate park is coming along bitch i'm telling you so i'm gonna keep that back tail in mind what you say i said just i'm gonna forget that so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna give you two links for this episode of gary response but i do need to back tail that ledge that's like a dream of mine so right when that gets done up run up and i'm good up good up ready to skate up skate up two links <laughs>